Hi, and welcome back to our Excel tutorials. In the last video, we looked at how to use the filter command here. In this video, we're going to take it another step, and we're going to combine the filter tool and also the sort tool with conditional formatting. So the first off, we want to learn what is conditional formatting. If I come here to my Home tab, you'll see a button here for conditional formatting. Now, I'm going to go ahead and apply some conditional formatting to the salary column. In this case, I want to select all the values in the salary column, so I'm going to use a tool that I've built into this worksheet. I'm going to click the Name box right here, and I'm going to go ahead and select the Salary field. When I click that, you're going to see that all my values in that column are selected. If you're curious as to how to set that up, look at our videos on Naming Ranges. Naming Ranges. So in any event, I have all my salary values selected here. Now I'm going to come to the conditional formatting option. Now there's a whole lot for you to investigate in here, but we're going to click Highlight Cell Rules. And there's a couple of options that I want to look at here, greater than and less than. Basically what I want to do is anybody that has a salary of less than 30000 I want to highlight in red. Anybody who has a salary over 70000 I want to highlight in green. So I'm going to go ahead, and again, I've lost my selection there, so I'm going to click my drop-down and just select Salary. That's really useful for large ranges or ranges that are hard to remember. And again, you can find out more about that in our videos on named ranges. And then I'm going to come here to Conditional Formatting, choose Highlight Cell Rules, and then choose Greater Than. And I'm going to say any time that the value in a cell in this range is greater than 70,000, so I'm just going to type that value right in there. I want to fill it in with a green fill with dark green text. And when I select that and click OK, as I scroll down, you're going to see it's selectively highlighted certain fields that meet our criteria. Now the nice thing about conditional formatting as opposed to just manually going and doing that is that if you change a value, the conditional formatting will automatically be applied. I applied that formatting rule to the entire salary column, or not the entire salary column, but to all the values there. So I'm going to go ahead here and click on this 35,000 and I'm going to go ahead and type 90,000. So that definitely meets our criteria and when I hit enter, you're going to see that that formatting is applied there. So now let's go ahead and create the second rule for people that make under 30,000. I'm going to go ahead and again click my name range drop down there and select salary. And you're going to see it highlighted all my values. I'm going to come back to conditional formatting and choose highlight cell rules. Now I'm going to choose less than. So I'm going to say anybody who makes less than 30,000. And again, I just type that value in there, and I want to fill it in with a light red fill and dark red text. Again, you have a lot of different options here, but you also have custom format that you can set this up any way at all. So I'll select that default there and click OK. And now you're going to see that it highlighted everybody who meets that criteria. And again, if I was to change a value, I'm going to come here to 31,000 and go ahead and change that to 20,000. The conditional formatting is automatically applied. So how do we tie a simple conditional formatting rule in with the sorting and the filtering tools? Here's how. I'm going to click in my header row, just like I have for all of my other um, sorting and filtering tools, and then go to the Data tab and choose Filter. So I now have my drop-down arrows for my filter. I'm going to click the drop down arrow for salary here, and you're going to see sort by color and also filter by color. And you're going to see that the values that I use from conditional formatting have already been placed in here. Here are the two background colors, and here are the two foreground colors. So let's say I just want to see people who um, meet the first rule, people who make more than 80000 a year. I can select either one of these. I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And you're going to see I'm now only seeing people that meet that criteria. If I click the drop down arrow again and select filter by color and choose the red, now I'm only seeing people who meet that criteria. 
Now, if you want to change the conditional formatting rule, you can. If I go ahead and select the range that I applied that value to, when I come back to the Home tab and select Conditional Formatting, I can go ahead and choose Manage Rules here. When I click Manage Rules, you're going to see both of the rules that I've applied to this selection. You're going to see Current Selection here show up. If I click that drop down, I can select this worksheet and it would actually show me all the rules for the entire worksheet. So I've got these two rules here and I can click on them to select them. I'm going to click on my first rule here, less than 30,000, click Edit Rule. And I'm going to go ahead and change that, you know, cell value is less than 30,000. I'm going to go ahead and change that to 23,000. I could also update the formatting here. I can click Format, and again, this should be very familiar to you. You can change the color of the font, as well as in, apply borders and fill effects on it. I'm going to go ahead and select a slightly lighter orange fill effect there, and click OK, and you'll see the change that's been made. I'll click OK, and OK one more time. And now you're going to see there are less items that are highlighted in that red color. Now, since I applied the filter before I changed the formatting rule, the filter is showing me things that I don't want. If I come here to the Data tab, you can see Reapply. If I click Reapply, you're going to see that the rule is reapplied. Well, now I don't see anything. So what happened? The reason for that is I changed the background color from that light red to a light orange. And the filter that I set up specifically said filter by color and choose that red color. It doesn't even exist anymore. So I'm going to reselect that and now you'll see the entries that meet that criteria. You could do the same thing with the sorting tools. I'm going to go ahead and click clear right here and that will restore my list back to normal. Now I'm going to click the drop down for salary and I can say sort by color. I'm going to select the green here and you'll see the green items have been sorted up towards the top. So that's a little bit about how to work with sorts and filters and the custom formatting tool. And again remember your sort and filter tools are located under data and the sort and filter area your conditional formatting was on the Home tab in the conditional formatting button.